Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Just got back from the forge. Um, we did it on Saturday, which was um good. Yeah, thanks Jack for allowing me to come over, mate. Another good day. Um, didn't do much. Oh, I did a bit. Uh, yeah, it was um all happening. So yeah, we were we had. A fair bit going on so yeah i've got two strikers done I'm, I'm really on a big kick with these thicker um strikers so this was out of another wiltshire file um one of the thicker ones oversized thick strikers turned out really nice got the curl right i'm starting to get these curls a bit more um doing a bit more fancy work with it uh, just looking at it's it's in the right plane but yeah it's seemed to be a little bit skew if but that's that's fine um yeah you can really see the wheelchair file mark i seem to be a bit having a bit of trouble with my hammer blows there or or you can see where all, all my hammer marks are but anyway australian flat bastard came up really well there um, I don't know. Sparks really well. Yeah, it's a nice, nice sparker. It's just firing them off. Um, yeah, I'll get an ember with that in a minute. Um, this one, another Wiltshire Australia file. This is the medium pattern. Got that curl. Feels really good in the hand. This, this rock's getting bashed about, but this one's sparking really well too. Fireworks. I'll get embers with them in a sec. Bought a double peen. Hammer, rehandled it. I started handling it myself, then Jack took over because I'm still not real comfortable handling it. Um, yeah, we wedged it. It looks really good. I did thin out, uh, thicken out the the straight peen. It's a lot thicker now because it's it was sharp like this. Um, I don't use the cross peens much, but um, yeah, I wanted to. A double peen because I've, I'm starting to use I've got three ball peen hammers as my primary um, forging hammers and so I thought I'll use those as my st standard forging hammers and I wanted a double peen hammer as as a complement to those because the the peen is very useful so I thickened that up and we handled it so yeah I'm just waiting for the glue to dry I'm going to clean all that up I'll dress that up I usually leave it 24 hours so that the glue all, 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 um, all is cured properly but yeah that's what we got done today so yeah had a good day um yeah just with everything going on um I did a bit more grinding. I got a couple of more strikers ground out too. So, yeah, that was why I didn't really get too many other. And I normally get two or three strike, uh, three or four strikers, if I'm if I'm in a rush. But um, yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble with my elbow at the moment. It's not really working real well. So, um, I've seen the doctor about it and. It's repetitive strain injury on my on my elbow, so yeah, I've, I'm wearing a brace now on my arm for it, and hopefully, um, it's just with a death grip on on there, holding the hammer too tight, strains there, and putting your thumb up, which is wrong. It's just that's I, how I used to do it. I've got to teach myself not to hold the hammer too hard. The death grip is bad, and never put my thumb up like that and that restrains there but anyway I'm, I'm i'm not going to do that anymore and um i'll go from there 
I'm, I'm, I'm learning not to do that and it's working a lot better for me. I just, I wear a brace, tennis elbow brace and with it, with holding the hammer looser and trying to do what they call the Hoffy technique, which is basically you allow the hammer to fall under its own weight and then as the hammer hits, it bounces up and then you only pick it up as it bounces up and then you allow it to fall again under its own weight and hit and then bounce up. That's basically the Hoffy technique. Um, I'm trying to do that, but it's really hard. Um, I, I, I just can't, it, my brain just doesn't work that way. So yeah, I'm trying to learn that technique um, and eventually I will pick it up and it will hopefully start working for me. But anyway, yeah, it's, um, I just have to use lighter hammers for a little while and learn not to hold the hammer too tight and, yeah, never put my thumb up there. But anyway, yeah, we, I'm getting around it. So, yeah, it's, 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 it was a lot better today. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting to the point now where it, it's not hurting anymore. So, yeah, that, which is good. It's fantastic, actually, because... I never want to, um, oh, that rock's getting a bit, I'm going to have to blunt, uh, sharpen those edges up. Um, that one's not real good either. Yeah, I'm going to have to get to the, I never want to get to the point where I can't forge anymore. I, I, I love my forging too much. But yeah, I'm just going to have to learn how to do it without hurting myself. So yeah. As I said, this sparks really well. Just wish my charcoal was up to snuff. I might have to find a place where I can cook some more. Obviously, that one doesn't want to pick it up. It's brown. Yeah. And I hold. Anyway. That one doesn't want to work, pick it up. Oh, I'm having a terrible time with charcoal, it's not picking it up. That one worked. Obviously that one works, it sparks really well. These wheelchair files work really well. I'm having fantastic success with them. But pretty much any old file should work well. They're usually pretty good steel, so. There we go. Both successes but anyway that's what i got done at the forge today again i just want to say thanks to jack for letting me come over um i'm probably going over to my mate's place he bought a new press so that's maybe next week but we'll see what happens um yeah my missus started a new job so um and she works night shift so yeah it won't be um i don't know yet we'll see what happens anyway Two new strikers and um, rehandle the hammer. Thanks for watching.